Alright guys, we're back and we last time we pulled out the subframe, we took it apart, cleaned it up, but this time we're gonna take the whole thing apart, see what we need to buy, and clean it all up, get it ready for paint. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we wanna take this whole thing apart and it's not that many pieces honestly. Diff, control arms sway bar so I think we're gonna start with the axles unhook those and then once we get these bolts we can just fully pull it apart do it by like sub assembly I guess so pretty simple 13 millimeter and hex wrench should be good to go so let's get started Yeah, so we're trying to take off these half shafts or whatever they're called and we're, we've been trying to use this just a six, six millimeter hex wrench and it just was not working um, they're really stuck on there so we picked up this socket adapter 3 8 one and with the extra torque we we're easily able to break it loose and check it out oh hold on let me put in the ah, okay. cheater bar Holding. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So that's the trick. Nice. Next one. So, looks like all of them are loosened up now. This one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I'll do the other ones. Oh, that's the cat. Oh, yikes. Looks like a rat. No offense to its owner. Sorry, neighbor. It's a different neighbor's cat. Oh, what is this? It's the half shaft thing. It's like a washer that goes on all three of them. Oh, I see. Oh, it goes every two. Every two? Yep. I did not notice that. What about the side? No way. Nothing? Single. Okay. Harder than it looks. But yeah, that's a, a must for these. I'm sure a lot of people have pretty clean ones, but ours are pretty gunked up, caked, and who knows what. Connected. All right. Ah, hold on. I got this. Yeah. Oh, good thing I have a vice. <laughs> there we go. Let me. We can take this whole thing away now. Yeah. Be gone. Here we go. Easy. Just remember which side's which. <laughs> <laughs> this goes in the front, right? Uh huh. We're gonna do a front wheel drive conversion. Let's do four wheel drive. Oh, first there you 2002 go. four wheel drive. I'm sure there's something out there like that already. No, dude. We'll be the first. <laughs> well, nice, man. Looks good. Do everything again on this side now. 
That took like. We sprayed these ones down with some, some of this stuff. So hopefully that'll I'll ease the side a bit. Getting there. Is that the last one? The last one. Ah. Oh, dang. Look at that. It looks new. Dude. But then these were so gunked up, I doubt anyone ever changed these. Crazy. Maybe it kind of maybe it has a seal, of some kind. I don't know. Looks good, man. All Let's right. Get this one over there and keep going. Let me check it out. Yep, it's bolts. Just caked on there. I don't know what it is. Taste it. <laughs> I'm good, man. It's just like the whole thing is caked. But if it was a leak, it would be probably be different. It's probably a leak. Yeah. Yeah. All the fluid leaked out when it was uh, just laying in the garage. Yeah. It looks like this. I don't know what it's called little pin it mm -hmm. has a hole on there maybe when you rev it too hard and it has too much fluid this comes out of there I don't know. looks maybe like people are we revving doing. it pretty hard you <laughs> were that's all us <laughs> yeah these bushings look pretty cracked worn I mean they have at least 50k miles yeah and like they're sagging all right man PB blast it let's go PB blast it. PB blast it. Yeah, this thing has like a adjuster. Kind of stupid. Usually you want on max, you know? Max blast. Max PB. Alright, let's do it. Do these a little bit too. Who knows? Max blast it. <laughs> mm. get ahead of ourselves all right man let's do it mm -hmm. nice <laughs> sweet i wonder if these are symmetrical i would mark it if you can like use a pick and just scribble um Shoot, I don't know what side it is now. This is right hand. I think it's left hand. No, it's right. I think it's left. Because the diff was flipped? I don't think so. I think the diff goes on top. It goes on top. Mm -hmm. So this is the passenger side, right hand. I think that's the driver's side. And look, this one's cracked. That's the, dri the, pass the driver's was not cracked. Look how much we messed this bad boy up. For sure. The dip oh, sits see, like I that, see. and then because there's the points here. Shoot, now I don't know. Yeah, because it was in the back. When we were taking off, it was on the back side. It wasn't in the front. Remember, we were able to hammer it, and we were able to access it, and then I was pulling down on this. Mm hmm. Yeah. So that's why I think that's the driver's side. Well, we were on the passenger side doing that. So I think we were doing that here. What? That one yeah. came right off. Uh, whatever. See? I guess we'll figure oh, it out once we put it back in. Well, you gotta do this side, and then I guess we gotta take apart a couple things off of the trailing arms over there.
gunky. I mostly, huh? I mostly cleaned it, but Your last this for the whole car. Mm -hmm. Okay. You think it'll work better if you pre spray? So I'll try half of it and then the other half will test just to see. There we have the first piece done, it's all cleaned up, degreased, came out pretty good. There's some creases in here that are kind of hard to get to, but it's good. Now on to the next one. So this part we pre-soaked a little bit with degreaser or cleaner. I'll steam it a little bit and then keep going at it. cleaned up and next we can uh, start focusing on painting stripping it down getting all the rust off and getting a good coat of paint on there something that will prevent it from further rust and corrosion and then get some new bushings in there
it back together. so stay tuned and we'll catch you guys in the next one.